In today's video, I'll be reviewing a one-star hotel versus a five-star hotel. I'll also be checking out people's reviews online to see whether they're lying about their rating or they're telling the truth. Guys, welcome to the one-star hotel. Guys, I've just checked in at the first hotel, the one-star hotel, and I've got my key. Let's go check out our room. I don't know what to expect. My god guys, look at this place by the way, that's me, hello. Why is the sink like that? Why is it outside of the bathroom? At least it's got a television. So there's the toilet. I'm assuming that's the shower. But look how close it is. Nah man. What the hell is going on? I want to leave. I want to leave this place so badly. I'm already done. I am so happy we've got another place to go to because I would not be able to spend the night here. I'm not sleeping on that bed and I'm definitely not using that toilet. Let's give it a button, here are my five things that every hotel must have. Number one, lighting. Lighting is of course important because out there in London it gets dark really quick. Let's test this light out. Now let's close the curtains and see if there's any difference. And just like that guys, it is way too dim. I'm very disappointed. At least it works. At my number two, heating. Now, the heating is working here, which is very good because in a place like London, which is freezing all the time, it can go as low as minus one degrees. It is my dream to move out of this place, this hell, this cold hell called London. And I know you guys can help me fulfill that dream and move to a place like California where it's nice and hot. The only place I've been other than England is Wales and that's right next to us, so it's not any different. It's so nice and warm in here with that heater. Much better than the cold out there. Oh, I could sit here all day. Dude. Oh, sorry. At number three, we have a good view. Now, you might not be normal if you don't like a good view. Most people go to hotels to relax, especially when they're on holidays. So chances are their view is a nice swimming pool maybe with nice blue glistening water. Meanwhile, this is mine. Train tracks, bro. Train tracks, look at this. Every maybe two or three minutes, there's gonna be a train coming here and people will not be able to sleep by hearing that. And you're telling me this is meant to be a good experience. There goes one now. Look at this man. Oh my god. One of the things I look out for when booking hotels is how clean the place actually is. What is that? That don't look clean to me. That looks a bit damp or whatever the hell that is. The heater itself, it might be warm, but look at the look at it. That's not very clean, is it? All these brown marks and stuff. Look at the window. What is this? It's screws. Why the hell are there screws in the tiles? Someone please tell me what's going on. And then, that's not even the worst part. There's a rusted tap. How is anyone meant to trust that? And then, the door. What are these marks, bro? Seriously, what are these marks? I don't even want to go next to that door, let alone use that toilet. I don't know what's happened in there. But I don't want to know. I'm sorry, is this meant to be safe? Look at it. Chipped wood. That can't be good for anyone. It can allow splinters. I want to see the top of the drawer. I feel like it's going to be really dusty. Oh, yeah, you see that? It is disgusting. Now, one good thing I can say about this place is that the carpet looks clean. As you can see, it looks well kept. It's time to check the bathroom. I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, it already sounds like some horror movie in here. The light switch for it is outside, so that makes a lot of sense. Huh? Oh, it's not. What the hell did I just turn on? Nope, it is. Look at the crack. There's a crack in the floor there. That gutter bit for the shower looks terrible. The windows. There's a crack there. I'm being very careful. I don't want to throw the camera in the toilet. Look at that crack. It's so bad. There's stains on the window, but it looks like it came straight out of the 90s. I like the 90s, but I didn't like the decoration. Let's look at the shower. And something just fell. We're finally onto the last part of my list, a working bathroom. Now we need hot 
and cold water to work. Hot water because I'm not taking a cold shower. If you take a cold shower, you're a weirdo. And trust me, I will be adding you in the comment section below, making sure you know how much of a weirdo you are. Anyway, back to the normal people. You need cold water to splash your face in the morning to actually wake you up. So yeah, that's most important. And lastly, the toilet needs to flush. Let's go, moment of truth, let's see. Okay, oh, that is some nice warm water. Cold water. Why did it just get warm? What the hell? The dungeon, as I like to call this place. Flush is working. I don't even know how you get this to work. What year is this? It's so freezing cold, oh my god. It was getting warmer a second ago. I thought we we're gonna find a lot of bad reviews about this hotel, but surprisingly, there's only one on Yelp. The room is clean and functional. He says it needs renovating. He mentions having a fridge in his room, but I, I don't obviously have that. You can see the space here. He talks about cars being outside. I have the same problem, but instead it's trains. In fact, it's probably even worse on my end. I'm gonna put a review on Yelp myself and give it the one star that it actually deserves. This is the end of my terrible day in this place. Now it's time to enjoy the next hotel. Hello, five star. This is what I'm talking about. Much better guys, watch this. Wall mounted TV, an actual wardrobe for your clothes. I'm assuming that's a bathroom, now that that's a bathroom and believe it or not this is a basement look at this a cool little portrait on the wall a massive double bed two lamps two bedside tables a phone this this is what i'm talking about and again another mirror so you can see my beautiful face oh this is gonna be fun back to our list i like this light a lot better because it's not as dim I didn't like the orangey look of the last one. Of course, there's no window, so if it was even brighter, then it would light up the whole room. So that's my only complaint, really. Now, number two is obviously heating. They control the room temperature with this thing. And when you see that, you know there's money involved. I wish I could work this because it is so hot in here, guys. I am actually boiling right now. <sighs> Number three would have been view because we sacrificed a window for a much better room. Now look, they even got a TV on the wall. Let's see if it works. Okay, good science, let's turn it on. So look guys, I can watch a movie right here just chilling in this bed like this. <laughs> but you know, we got work to do, so probably not. Compared to the other place, this place is a lot cleaner. Maybe just a few things, I'd say. There is a massive mark on the wall and there's a couple stains around the place as well there's quite a bit of dirt on the door handle i actually don't know what that is guys it might be a bit picky of me to say but i'm sure a four star hotel should not have dirt like that on its carpet i'm disappointed in them because i really thought that they'd look after it just like the last place did wow i don't see a single thing wrong here the towels look new, the toilet is spotless, the sink literally looks like it was installed yesterday. Guys, I'm so amazed at how sick this bathroom is. I wish I could have a bathroom. What? Oh my god, guys. Who turned the light off? Because it wasn't me, I promise you. Guys, the door, the door's not opening. Oh my god. That was my cameraman playing tricks on me, as always. I'm gonna get him back, don't worry about it. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what it is, and I failed to mention it before, but all these bathrooms have this weird noise. It's like a static sort of noise. It sounds like it's something out of a horror movie. Just look at the thing it comes out of. I think it's that right there. I don't know what that is. Do you have any idea what that is? The bathroom's clean. Let's move on to if the bathroom's actually working or not. <laughs> Seems good. I like this one. It's a mixed tap rather than single one. So that's all the way on the warm side. Wow, that's getting boiling hot. Okay, I need to turn that off. Now, I'm gonna try a mix of the both. 
decent and now cold uh, still warm. That's the cold you need to wake you up in the morning. Oh my god, look at that shower head though. That shower head is massive. How'd you even get it down? I don't want to break anything. How'd you do it? Hello? Can someone help me? You might want to pull it. I was trying to do that, cameraman. Have you not caused enough trouble today? So I finally got the shower head down. This tap doesn't seem to move. That's not good. That's probably the hot water not working. No, never mind. Yeah, that is. That's pretty warm. Yeah, you could have a nice shower here. In the other hotel, I didn't really want to use the bed. The reason is I was put off by it. But here, it's looking promising. <sighs> I don't think I'd sleep here, but I could definitely watch a lot of YouTube. I can relax here. It's definitely comfortable. Guys, I've got the two lamps near me on, finally. I feel like maybe I could fall asleep here because it's making me feel so relaxed. <laughs> Look, there's even a kettle here with two cups, some milk, some coffee, and some sugar. You can even make, oh, even tea, PG tips. That's my favorite tea. I love PG tips. Uh, if you don't know then you got to know it's so good but anyway yeah man the options there and you don't even have to order room service that's a win-win in my opinion hello is this room service oh it is okay yeah could i order a pizza to room 71 please i will take 10 minutes yeah that's perfectly fine thank you just kidding guys no pizza Bruh. today maybe next time now one thing with the other place is it was so much like someone's house there was not really any privacy so the doors were so basic but here you got this thing look how secure that lock is and the only way it opens is if i touch this handle there you go it opens up you see and if i want to close it it's as simple as boom this place is definitely worth the five star rating and i would come back it's just, I'm not a hotel person. I'm a homebody. I need my own bed. I need to sleep <laughs> in my own comfort zone. Other than that, this was a really fun video and I'd love to do more like this. Maybe not hotels though. So we've just checked out the hotel and as you can see, that's the hotel behind me. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, while I was in the hotel, I forgot to check out reviews. So that's something I'm gonna go do right now. So I was going through reviews on Yelp and I came across this one by John P who gave it a one star. Oh no, this is the most disgusting hotel I've stayed in in years. That's already a bad start. Please don't book a room here. The toilet and the bathroom has pee stains on the seat and smells like an alley. Well, John P, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. But with me, the toilet was spotless. It didn't have pee stains and the room was definitely looked after. And it sure as hell didn't smell like an alley. So after checking Yelp for more reviews and hoping for a five star review, I couldn't find one. So instead I decided with my own phone to leave a five star review. So thank you for the stay. And I'm going to post that right now. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Your review needs to have at least 85 characters. I guess they're not getting a 5 star because nobody's got time for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I spent a lot of time, effort and money trying to make this video. So all I ask in return is that you subscribe and smash that like button. That's been it from me and I'll see you in the next one.